Good morning. Good morning, sunshines. You little teeny boppers. We have a Q and A. And I'm just going to read a few of them this morning. And I hope you enjoy them. My honest answers to the questions. We're going to first start with how old are you, Kelly Mae? I'm 75 years old, but I feel like a funky 40. Are you married? Never been married, but I'm dating. I date men in between the age of 39 and 45. Anything over 45 is too old. They can't handle all of this. And they love it. And so do I. Do Kelly may have kids? No. I am an only child. My mom's an only child. My grandmammy is an only child. And my great grandmammy is an older child. So is my great great grandmammy an only child. One child runs in my family. No one has two. After that first one, we all said the same thing. We don't want our coochie to be scratched anymore. That's why the young men love me. All those kids scratches you out. You don't have no walls. You gonna have no bottom to the ocean. And we have Torch 504 wants to know. I have a question, Kelly Mae. Do older women still have orgasm after menopause? Well, Torch 504, I wouldn't know that because I'm not having menopause. I still have my cycle. I even had a scare last week that I thought one of the fellas got me pregnant. So the answer to your question is yes. We still have orgasms. More orgasms than I've ever had before. And the rose if you young Tina Boppers know about the rose, it will make you have orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. Get you a rose like Kelly Mae. Ooh, you will thank me later. And we have another one from Torch504. And it reads, I have a question, another question 
I always wanted to ask my grandmammy, but was too scared she might smite the fuck out of me. I want to ask her, did she make all her children in one bed? Her and my grandpappy had 15 children. How many bed sets did it take? That sounds like a little riddle, but I'll answer it anyways. I don't know nothing about your grandmammy and how many bed sets she had to go through. But if you ask me, 15 children, she had to go through at least six or seven bedroom sets. Because I'm sure them knuckle-headed children was bouncing in and out of that damn house. Tearing up everything. Running behind them. Beating their behinds. I don't even know when she had time to. 15 kids. OMG. Just to think about it. 15 children? I can imagine pushing 15 knuckleheads out of this tight twat of mine. Mm. I wouldn't know what to say about that. How many bedrooms your grandmammy ran through? But I know she was ran through. She was ran through. That thing had to be like an octopus. Baby, I would never, ever let no nigga lay 15 churn in me. Unless God wanted me to have 15, but he didn't. He didn't. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do I... That's a personal, but I'll try to say it in a nice, nasty way. Who wants to know that question? You're very nosy and disgusting. Do Kelly me give below jobs I've tried it and it's disgusting I tried it again maybe last week the fella just to think about it turns my stomach and sucks my nipple inside it's a horrible taste. I'm not a blow job type of girl. It makes me. Excuse me. Just to think about that in my mouth. Sucks my nipple in. That's nothing for me. It's disgusting. And I will never, ever try it again. You guys are very, very, very nasty. 
Kelly May. Do you take it in the rear? How can you ask that question? I've tried it again last week. And it's the worst feeling ever. How can you tell me to relax all your muscles? How can you relax all your muscles when you tampering with something that's not meant to be tampered with? That's not bite there to be tampered with. That's what the front part is for. I think that is the worst feeling in the freaking world. You cannot relax all your muscles. Well, I know I can. Kelly May, have you ever had a threesome? I tried it. I've tried it. But it didn't last very long. She had to get the hell up out my bed. I'm sitting back watching. My nigga and another bitch. I'm looking like, hold on, girl, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold on. Don't kiss him in the mouth. Uh uh. I'm looking like, well, hold up, baby. You looking all into her eyes like you in love. Hold up. I don't want you to look in her face no more. Turn your head that way. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at her because looking like you're looking like you're in love over there. Mm-hmm. You don't even rub your fingers through my hair, but you're rubbing your fingers through hers. Wait a minute. We're not going to do that. Don't rub her hair. Put your hands on the pillow and turn your head towards me. Hold up, swole up. You don't even open my legs that wide. Shut them legs a little bit more. Yeah. I've tried it. It's not my thing. And then you want me and her? That ain't gonna happen, Captain. I don't want her hours on me. Ugh. Ain't gonna be no cootie cat popping over him. No, ma'am. So, yes, Callie May will try anything once. But I'm a little too overprotective of my man to have him looking into one of you bitches' eyes. Only Kelly May eyes. Only mine's. So the answer to your question is, I've tried it, but it didn't last long. Because she had to get the hell out of there. With her loosey coochie ass. Lucy Goosey. Take it in the back. You ain't gonna take it in the back with my mind. You ain't gonna take it in the back with my mind. Ooh. Kelly May is not into that type of thing. My man 
is for me. I don't share. Well, that'll be all the questions that I will answer today. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to get to them next week. Thank you, you little Tina Boppers. And you can bring any questions you have in mind to ask Callie Mae and I'll answer them. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Mwah.